हेलो गाइस दिस इज राकेश एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल वन ऑफ द यूजर हर नेम इज भाग्य एंड शी इज आस्किंग हाय सर कैन यू प्लीज एक्सप्लेन डीएमई एम आई डॉक ओके लेट मी ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन स्टार्टिंग विद डीएमई सो डीएमई स्टैंड्स फॉर डेटा मीडियम एक्सचेंज बट दिस स्टेटमेंट विल नॉट मेक सेंस सो आई विल ट्राई टू हेल्प यू अंडरस्टैंड इन मच सिंपलर वे एंड मच प्रैक्टिकल वे so imagine that uh, uh, you have a company and uh, you have to make payment to around 50000 different vendors okay you have to make payment to them how do you make payment so what you will do is you will say that okay i am sending my file to the bank which has all the information which is needed to make the payment for example my account number from which the amount should be deducted the vendor account number to which the amount has to be credited the amount how much i have to pay to which vendor so all that data should be kept in a file and i will send that file to the bank now imagine that you are sending the file to the bank in an excel sheet you prepared one excel sheet where one line is one transaction one payment to vendor and you have 50 50000 lines one for each vendor you are sending this file to bank now the bank has rejected it why because the bank is saying no no we don't accept excel sheet your file got rejected now what do you do next you sent let's say pdf again the bank rejected saying that we don't accept pdf now you send word file the bank rejected we don't accept word file the bank says that we accept only txt file right .txt file give us the data in txt file you put that data in txt file and send it to bank again the bank rejected bank said that okay file is fine file format is txt but the data inside this is very uh, it it is not something that we will accept so bank will tell you okay you put the data in this fashion first four digits uh, let's keep it for this purpose next uh, 30 digits 30 characters 30 characters are for name of your company next 10 character is for your vendor code next 15 character is for your vendor bank account next 10 character is for amount next 5 character is for 3 character is for currency in this way bank has clearly told that where your values will come where to put the bank account number where to put the vendor number where to put the vendor amount where to put the currency where to put ifsc code everything and your your responsibility is to populate data in that file in that very file and send it to bank then bank will accept it so this uh, standard template that bank is asking you to prepare and send the file that is called dme file data medium exchange we are exchanging the data with the bank we are sending the payment information to the bank and how this payment information is generated in the file in sap it is through automatic payment program app we call it so when we run the payment program system generates a file and this file we will send it to bank so that is my dme file do not forget to like and subscribe my channel and see you soon with the next question thank you